Okay, boat comes up to the dock, three meters per second. Jasper jumps out. Plus an average force. Looks like an impulse. Can equal force times time. 800 newtons. 0 0.30 seconds. We know that impulse is equal to change in momentum. So 800 times 0 0.3. 240 kilogram meters per second. Speed on the dock. Oh, he's got 240 kilogram meters per second. That's equal to his mass, which we know from up here. He's 80 kilograms times his velocity. Divide both sides by 80. We get velocity equals 3 meters per second, which miraculously is the same velocity as the boat. Daryl gets his truck a little bit out of control. So that's P equals M times V equals 2,000 kilograms times 30 meters per second equals 60,000 kilograms meters per second. That's the momentum. Now it hits the tree and it contacts it for 0 0.72. So force times 0 0.72 seconds equal to 60,000 kilogram meters per second. Divide both by 0 0.72. And we get 83,000 newtons, which is a lot. Two billion people jump up in the air and all land at the same average of 7.8, 7 7.0 meters per second velocity. Their average mass is 60 kilograms and the mass of the Earth is really, really big. So P equals the mass of all those people times the velocity. Well, the mass is 60 kilograms, but times all those people, which is 2 billion. Uh, I'll keep this as zeros. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I don't know how those people are all going to fit in one spot to do that, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Times 7.0 meters per second. That's 8.4 times 10 to the 11th kilogram meters per second. That's a lot of force, a lot of momentum. What's the effect of the action on the Earth? Well, momentum's conserved, so 8.4 times 10 to the 11th kilogram meters per second equals mass of the Earth, Earth times velocity of the Earth. The mass of the Earth is 5.98 times 10 to the 24th. Divide both sides. We get velocity is one point four times ten to the negative thirteenth meters per second. An insanely small number, not even noticeable to all of us. Now we get back to Tammy. Tricky problem here. What's Tammy's momentum when she hits the beach? Since she weighs 60 kilograms, and so she's moving at 6 meters per second. Three hundred sixty kilogram meters per second. Now she went into the sand 0 0.10 meters. How long did it take her to hit that? 0 0.10 meters divided by 6 meters per second. 
just like the flag of a car. Distance divided by time, uh, velocity. Actually, we do it the other way around with time. 0.1. Time is 0 0.017 seconds. Now, we know that the impulse equals momentum. So, force times zero point oh one seven seconds equals three hundred sixty kilogram meters per second. Divide both sides. You get the force equals. Twenty one thousand newtons. She hit the sand pretty hard. Hope she's okay. When a gun is fired, the shooter describes the sensation of the gun kicking. Explain this in terms of momentum conservation. We've got the shotgun, shoots a bullet out, gun's got to move back. Small mass. times high velocity equals larger mass times smaller velocity. So the gun has to kick back. You have to feel it. Usually put coils in there to eat up that kickback. What does it mean to say momentum con is conserved? Momentum before equals momentum after. In the real world, some of that gets eaten up to friction, but for the purposes that we're going to work with, it does not get lost. So momentum doesn't vanish. If I apply an impulse to something, the change in momentum is equal to that impulse. That's it. Good luck.